Each of the seven, each of the seven family will make people pop up. So they all start. No, so it's okay. So finish with the story. The stories were from Aesop's Fables and 37 Utterly Silly Stories. And the story from Aesop's Fables was the, the donkey and the lapdog. Brit, you there? That story was the donkey and the lap, lap dog from Aesop's Fables. And Brit said... She thought it was about trying to fit in. Um, did any are any of you guys here who just heard the story? And and do you think that do you think that sounds correct? Like this was a story about the donkey trying to fit in, or was it that the donkey wanted wanted to enjoy the perks that it, that he saw the lap dog getting? Cause I don't get the idea that he really wanted to be a dog. I get the idea that he wanted to, to be petted and pampered, and not have to work and be given food. You miss the story, Lord? About the donkey and the lap dog from Aesop's Fables, and one next full full one from the silly story book. But Brit gone. All right. Well, we move on from that. Um. Thank you, Mikey Positive. You, you're living up to your name. Thank you. That's very positive. I appreciate it. Um, hey, today may happen if you come across one post. Just be yourself. You're amazing. I get that. that I agree with Juliet. Um, but come across one post. I think it might have been a nationwide. And it was about somebody from G2K saying that the mayor is failing. The PNP mayor is already failing at the job because he has not cleaned up well after carnival. He's not doing a good job of cleaning up after carnival. And I'm saying to myself, PNP mayor, is there such a thing? Didn't the JLP insist that they won Kingston? And so I commented that with in all of my sarcastic glory under the post. And Jamaican people, of course, labor rights have to run in and try to chastise me. Labor rights, you know, give it up now. Give it up. The fact that the JLP makes up the government of Jamaica, does not relieve us of our sense of humor or sarcasm or um, civic duties or our citizenship. It doesn't relieve of us of anything. We're still Jamaicans and we still have the right to an opinion, to a voice, to speak. We have all these rights that we always had, we still have them. The rights that we used to have when the PMP was in power, we still have them when the JLP is in power. So guys, give it up. Give it a rest. It looks really... It, it, it destroys your credibility. Even the ones who sound like they're above merely literate, still sound duns. <coughs> stop, just stop it. Tell another friend them to stop. If you have some labor right friend who territorial and feel like Andrew really is broke, God, tell them to stop it. It, it smacks off very dense. So we can go under the post of our radio station and say, eh eh. Eh eh. So and then the, and then the labor right win. How the labor right now ask the PNP if you can do the job where they say, I did feed them job. Don't they say them win it? And that me go say. Don't me can say that if more. Talk to it. Me no can say that. Even if you are labor right, talk to it. Me no can say that. Because to this day, then still no can see it, no defeat, no way. Then still I insist that them win. So how is there a PNP mayor that the G2K is calling upon to do the job of mayor when other little bird looking man they did say him still control Kingston? Didn't he say that? All night he kept saying that. I don't know about anywhere else, but I know that Kingston remains with the JLP. Didn't he say that? The little bird looking man. You know what I'm talking about. Didn't he say that? And they kept saying that. And when I say, guys, stop it. The labor then trace me off and say me chat too much. So now I concede, me concede to them and I'm saying, all right, you know what? The, P the JLP is in charge of Kingston. Now the JLP come out and say, the PNP need to go do the work. But didn't you say, are you in charge? So me can't say, I know who in charge. And me can't say, I know in charge. The fuck wrong with you know? 
Uno crazy or what? Or uno crazy? Seek help. Seek help, man. And stop trying to relieve Jamaicans of them voice. We have the right to speak. And this is what we don't know, learn nothing, you know. The election was gone. People come out and express their disgust for the same kind of behavior. And we don't head towards one general with more of the same. We don't learn. Listen, if Andrew not pulling back, we don't pull back on yourself now. In all things moderation, exercise a little restraint. Understand that people are sick of the arrogance, the, the, the bad up. People are sick of the bullying. All of this, our people sick of make them a vote against you, know, you know? And we come out with more of the same. You know what dance that is? For people for sick and it's like your woman give you a bun because you not come home. So you stay out more and complain about it. Like, try, you ever try to go home instead? Your man give you a bun because you can't cook. So you go to road go try to fight one girl. You ever try to go learn for cook? I'm being very simplistic here, but if there is a, a problem that you can identify that is the problem, what you want is a solution to that. Not more of the same problem. So it smacks of being very dunce. Honestly, GLP. Oh no, I look done. And I can't believe this because I thought I belonged to the superior intellectual party. I was such a very green labor. Right? And I thought that we were smarter. I am now realizing, you know, just as dunce as the dunces of the PMPs. Just, it's just, a, I guess it's just a Jamaican thing. You know, just once in a tribal, you know, just dunce. Oh, Jesus. Jesus be a pillow. Put me to bed. No, sir. Anyways, enough of that. Enough of that. We established, eh? When you know I got done, you know I got done. Juliet Blanford, you are my friend from Facebook, so you know, say, me got through it with the PNP, them, with the tracing, because me name is supposed to have no opinion on them neither. No, they seem to come around and they learn, because when perspective is a bitch, and contrast will teach you lessons that you thought you never could learn, that you didn't have need for learning. And now the PNP understands, I think for the most part they do understand what was being said. But it is the JLP's turn to learn. Hopefully they will learn. I don't know, they're not giving a hope. They not seem to be people who have the capacity to learn. Um, which is sad. As I said, I used to be one of them. And I thought we were the intellectually superior party. I saw my group, I think. Um, sue me, I was brainwashed. Come out and look back on them. Jesus Christ, don't stone over. Okay. At girl thirsty. Don't. What I do this evening? Me not stand long enough. Because we chat yesterday. And I try to get back into the habit of reading the books, but most of my weekend them tie up, which means I'm going to lift out from before the weekend, which means I'm not going to read most Thursday. Um, and some weeks I'm not going to be able to read at all. But Still, I push the idea of reading to your children, reading to your kids at night, whether it's your child, your stepchildren, you need sinus relief, any suggestions? You're in a England, I mean, no suggestion in England. Well, um, steam, steam with mental crystals, eucalyptus oil, albus oil, um, Steam. Steam, 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 steam. Just keep steaming as much as you can stand. That should that should be a big help. That should. But guys. Yes. Please. And tell me how it works, Zlicks. Tell me how it works. Guys, um my intention and my hope. It is my hope that you will read. To the children whether they be your whichever kids you're exposed to or ch whichever children is a, are exposed to you um read to them and the hope is that you will develop a habit in them that will serve them for years to come 
for the rest of their lives. Um, but I read out none of the cliche them tell you. Reading, reading make it a full man. Some of you will not agree with it because some of you are not full men yet. And you don't know. So you think you're full men. Not reading well. Having a very small vocabulary. Not having the critical thinking skills which would make you a better conversationalist. And you think you're fine. And it's unfortunate that most of us are hypocrites. Because we will laugh behind your back. Um, we will see you make mistakes and just keep it to ourselves and not say anything. And then laugh to other people who know better. Instead of just telling you. And some of you make it really hard to tell you too. Because your ego is so fragile. Skin so thin. You read, you're going to read my lyrics to your kids? You know, like you're picking them. I don't make kids music. Read books. You're going to read storybooks and develop your kids' imagination. Read to them about magic. Read to them about magic and love and peace. Teach them. Do not read my lyrics to, to small children. That's not what it was intended for. We spend an hour every night. Nice, Juliet. Nice. Yes, it's a good habit. All right, so it helps your children develop, broaden their vocabulary. It helps with titanium overdose. If you want to read to your children about God, then do so. But not everybody does that. And so this is not the space for the dictatorship. Uh, read to your children about magic. And if you be do believe in God, then go look back at God and see if that isn't covered under magic. You need to uh, expand on your children's imagination. And the Bible is not going to do that. It's going to kill it. Um, if, you're, if you're intending to develop your children's imagination, you're going to need more than the Bible. You will need more than the Bible. And this is not a, is, is not a hit at the Bible. This is just a fact. It's reality. You can't get your children's um, you're not going to get your children imagination to expand by telling them that they can't do this, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. And the Bible is full of can'ts. So if it is that you're trying to broaden a perspective, you wouldn't be giving them a smaller box to climb into. So what I'm talking about here now, maybe on your life, what you're talking about is really just dogma. But on my life, what I'm talking about is developing the ability to think critically, which you're not going to develop by limiting them to Bible or any other religious book. So the, the intention is to teach your children the tools that they will need to survive in this world that they live. They don't live in the Bible. They don't live in the Bible. They live in this world. And in this world, if you limit them to Bible, you're sending them out with a deficit. You're sending them out at a disadvantage that other people's children will take advantage of them with. So if you want to be realistic and talk to me, then fine. But if you don't, it's still good. Just find a Christian page or whatever religion you practice, you find that page and you go have that conversation with them. But I will not do that to you, nor your children. I'm going to tell you that magic is what expands on your children's imagination. Your kids need imagination to develop in this reality that we live. This one. I don't profess to know anything about any other. I only know this one. And I know that you need imagination. In order for you to do something that you've never done, you have to first imagine it. It needs to first be born here. And if you subscribe to a book that says everything has already been done and nothing else can be done because somebody else did it for you and now all you need to do is walk into, then you're not going to create anything. If you do not understand your position as a co-creator of the space within which you live, then you're not going to create anything. And if you're not going to create anything, what? purpose are you to yourself of what purpose are you to yourself if your only if your only intention is to follow the path that somebody else paved and never ever step off of it then this is not the life for you this life is about developing your own creativity developing your own imagination broadening your vocabulary expanding on your strengths strengthening you that's what i'm about i'm not about anything else and i'm not comparing to anything else 
I'm not telling you that what you like is bad and what I like is good. I'm saying this is what I offer. This is what I offer. Interestingly, my sister challenged her son to think logically and at, at an early age. I will give her credit by encouraging his creativity, but from an early age, she challenged his thinking process on things like Santa Claus. Yes. You have to. See, see now, we, we introduce the children to a lot of lies. A lot of lies. And then when they get confused, we look at them like they're feeling. We're, they're not feeling. We're feeling them. We are feeling them. We give them all of these. You, you, you teach your children to believe in Santa Claus and a lot of other imaginary or unseen things. But when me say fairy and elf and pixie and I look for me strange. And the funny thing about fairies and pixies and elves is that they don't dictate that you have to be any particular thing and they don't limit you. They don't limit you to their way of thinking. And they don't punish you when you don't abide by their way. They don't. So you reading some stories from Blessings Brandon, reading some stories which have magic in them absolutely does nothing to take away from your ability to practice whatever religion you subscribe to. It doesn't stop you from, from um, subscribing to whatever dogma you want to. It doesn't. But what it does is help you to develop your imagination, especially for your children. You want your children to, to have the ability to imagine things. This is how they become creators. Because in order for you to make something that didn't already exist where you were, you have to first think of it. It has to be able to exist in your imagination first. So it's like you, you, you have all these children that you're raised to be robots. And then you expect them at adulthood to just metamorphose into some entrepreneurs and just start make willy for money. How do they do that? You train them for be followers. You train them for walk on a path with somebody else and lead them. You train them for the in our chain gang. That's what you train them for do. And for be sheep. Intention is powerful and impactful. It informs the physical, especially when action is taken. Being plus doing equal having. Don't wait for the having to manifest physically start to feel it within but you, in order for you to do that you have to have imagination you have to be able to imagine that this thing exists in order to manifest it to become physically present but if you can't even see it you're unwilling to see it it's like people do this thing where them pray and then pray and then pray and then pray and then pray and pray and pray and pray, and pray, and pray some more and never do anything for actually actualize that prayer. Them just sit down and expect say it's somebody where them are pray to I go just pick up sitting and put in a then lock. But they not they not change their thought process. They not change them them diet. They not change their lifestyle. They not change their attitude. They not change nothing at all. They not in, in they not encourage the, the, the thought of magic. And it is magic. What about this life is not magic? <laughs> you plant one seed, one little tiny seed like this. You put it in the ground in the dirt and do nothing at all to it and the elements is water. All it gets is just water and whatever it can absorb from the soil around it. And it turns into one big ratted tree. And you don't think that's magic? I love the kids who have magic. Let them have magic. Every morning at the school that I work, the students have to read from any source of their choice for at least an, a half an hour. Me like that. Me like that. 100% magic, Juliet. Train them to express themselves. You don't have to train them to express themselves. You just have to allow them. They already express themselves. When kids stop expressing themselves, it means that adults intercepted them. Adults told them not to. That's the only time people stop expressing themselves. And, and, and you might think that, oh, but he never did start talk from money. Yeah, he never talk as he listened to you. And you don't turn him off before he even said the first word. So he'll just be like, you know, I'm just sitting here so and just shut the fuck up because I don't like the environment. Yeah. That is it. Sometimes the kid turn, turn, turn back before they're even born. So me honestly believe that so some people look out and be like, Jesus Christ, yes, so may I come, mm -mm, turn back, umbilical card, wrap up, and just go back. And be like, me come back so, some other time to some other person, but this bitch, don't got, she don't got her shit together. And I don't want that experience. So then just turn back. And then you have some come out and just decide, I mean, I talk, I look at you, you, 
You messed up and if me walk my mouth and say nothing to you, you know, you're not going to like nothing will come out of my mouth. The best thing we can do for you is we just shut my mouth in a lady. That's why I'm going to do over here, so. Silent. And you're going to bring them go every specialist. And they're going to tell us nothing wrong with them tongue, nothing wrong with them vocal cords, nothing wrong with none of that. They don't want to chat to you. And you're going to look into everything except yourself. But sometimes they just don't want to chat to you for real. Because maybe you're not nice. Probably in a nice. Maybe it's you. But I love the pick them. They express themselves. Just give them a chance. Give them a chance. The fact that you didn't want to be one doctor and you feel that it is not a good enough reason for push your poor little daughter to go to one doctor. When a little girl wants to be a ballerina, look for her to a tip on her too. Now you have her tip on her too in our, in our strip club because she never did start training as a ballerina for her early. But she still want tip on her too. Now you have her tip on two for man lap. Meanwhile, she did want on ballerina. But you decided she forgot to study medicine. Poor thing not, have, not inclined towards the sciences at all, at all, at all. And if she ever give one injection, it will be for kill you. Because she's not interested. Them that kind of people will sell way out. Them that kind of people will make up the pharmaceutical industry. We have no connection to we whatsoever. We don't feel no way to take money and promote things where they know no in our best interest. Because they're never interested. You fuck with up. Because you force your little picnic if you turn one doctor. Hey, Venezuela, what's up? Hola. You force your picnic if you turn one liar. Because you want the prestige of being able to brag to your little friend, them, your little idiot friend, them. They say, oh, she just graduated law school and... Oh my God, you know, he just passed the bar. He passed the bar, darling. Like that, that time, my boy, I don't want to pass the bar. And I want to have a drink. But you force him to go sit the bar so that you can brag. And then we get all of these lawyers who are not really committed to that discipline. We're just a hustle. And they don't really, they don't take any case. Because they don't have integrity. They don't have interest. They don't have... The loyalty to your outcome. They don't care. You send them out the hustle and that them do them go hustle. Because everybody has something they're passionate about, you know. So all you have to do is step back out of the way and allow them to pursue them passion and you just shut the fuck up. Just be happy say you pick them off ten finger and ten toe. Their organs work, they're healthy, they're happy. Then find somebody who love them with them love. These are the things where really to me denote success. A successful life but you decided that mm -mm, that's not enough me want want this or me want one that like you know and build up your workshop and then you take the pick name and you twist and contact them personality for fit whatever the fuck you wanted right people still care titanium people care but they're not allowed to care about what they care about because we've been out here just pulling strings all the way out here just a pull strings like oh no me think you don't make one better that no you don't make a better that Mm -mm. I see this in creative artistic children. Some parents stunt their kids and project what they think is best for them. Oh, yes, they do. They do. Remember when I got high school, you know. My mother did tell me, say, Uncle Dead People make money off of art. And then take me out to art class and I get all straight A's, you know, and put me in a bio. Don't ask me because of arts, me did I do. And the bio just drop in out and nowhere, just boom, bio accounts and take me out of art put me in a bio and I'll do typing and what else me that pure foolishness and we don't have nobody I really break down and explain to her what these things entail we family not equipped for that and the teacher them not do that neither I DJ Martian right and and we and them expect we at 12 and 13 years old if you know what the fuck we are going to do with your life at 50. Like, <laughs> are you crazy? At 12? You expect me to make one decision, one life-altering decision at 12? Me to decide what I going to do with myself. What the fuck it do? Me just eat me, 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 it out. Like, alright, I don't like the teacher, this, I don't like the film class, I don't like the oh, I don't like the subject, I don't like the subject. I don't know what I want to do. 
You like your messy name? DJ Martian? <laughs> Martian as in Martian. Like Martian. Martian. Um, Mario. When we go country, Mario? You're half Jamaican and half what? Martian? <laughs> hey. Left with making a picnic there, live. Please. Just allow your kids to be kids. Put them down in front of all of the toys them and what them gravitate to make them play with that. Stop put them in a pink and blue. Because pink and blue no biological. And it not really social neither, except when you keep ramming it down people through it socially. Um and it doesn't actually it doesn't um guarantee anything. Yes, love, just like that, and I'm half Jamaican and half native country forward at town. <laughs> well, when we decide to go back a country, I'm ready. Yell up your papa for me. He said, tell him some mess and one virtual hug. And your and your siblings too. And you too. And you too, all fat. You all get hugged too. But yeah. Read to no picnic at night time. And no matter how you are the baddest bad man, still go read to your picnic. If you can read. You can read? If you can read, go read to your picnic. If you can't read, make your picnic read to you. You just need to get a book with a lot of pictures and open it in front of your child. Even if your child is not yet literate, I promise you, they will go read to you. And the stories that they make up are so much more entertaining than the ones in the book. Believe it. May I tell you, if you just make that little, just make that little critter that run them out. Just say, you read this story to me, baby. I make them turn page and so and teach them how to turn page. From a daughter, a baby may I give her a book and teach her how to respect the book and spin the page. When she tear a page, she ball. Because she knows that the book for care. I'll be there. My father passed, but my wife will go visit my uncle them. Okay, cool. But allow your kids for be kids and allow them. Give them a chance to gravitate towards whatever it is where they're going to be passionate about. Um, don't try to turn them into mini you. Do not ask in powers out this shit. Not turn them into mini you. There is already a you. And if you feel that, that just if you feel like you feel like that, just suck it up and go on. A your failure. And for them. Them is not your second chance. They're not. They are not the fulfillment of you. They are not come to compliment or augment you in a no way at all. I'm 28 and I not have no pygmy. You mean you don't have no pygmy? Okay, that not really mean nothing. <laughs> you're there upon for your own journey. You're not supposed to have no pygmy. You don't make people fool you. And no worry, say you're not, you're not pick up your slack on the planet because me about to have two more. <laughs> Why am I love after myself? Big Simon! Hello! Why are you up so late? What time now are Italy? But, anyways, we were talking about reading stories to your children. The horny church. I think that might... I found my religion. The horny church. I let me tell me not horny at all. <laughs> me not horny at all. Oh my God. But anyway, read to the picnic them. Read to your children and especially read stuff that will stimulate their imagination, their creativity. Read to them so that they don't grow up to be liberate and PNP and Democrat and Republican so that they can grow up to be complete humans instead of pandering to small pieces of them which make them disjointed, which make them your aunt and animal but my brother big of yourself, which make them live in the illusion of separation which make them less than what them fully are because there's no subset of humanity we can represent any human completely none not one there is no no group where you can possibly find yourself in a where actually represent you completely it is impossible so if me belong to the group we call black people because me black, me go find myself an intersect with the group of called white people when it come to maybe tasting some things like music and some food. 
other behavioral practices where, me, where, where black people look for me sideways for. And it have nothing to do with the facts that white people like them things. I mean, I give a fuck who like it, me like what me like. I remember you from my days in high school where I used to take extra lessons with your sister. Love you. Oh, I love you too. That's too, that nice. Me like, when, me like people who know me. Me like, me like for interact with people who actually know me. And uh, Tanya Stevens. Um, not that I have any less regard for Tanya Stevens and the people who know her, but it feels nice to be human. Yeah. You, did I ever give you extra lessons? I remember Anthea. And I remember, I remember several other kids when I used to. Or me used to get English classes in the evening. Oh, you feel better? That's nice. Zlicks, that feels so good. It used to be three of us guys, three of us, three guys. Oh, that, well, it, I wasn't. I, a pure girl, me used to get, me used to help with their English. That's so nice, loves UK. Nice. I That feels good. Me can't tell her because she's no longer with us, but wherever she is, me know, so she appreciate your your memory. And she really loved teaching and she loved kids. She did. She really, really did. Your nose is completely clear. Keep doing that. Zlix, do it as often as you possibly can. Keep doing it. It works. Yeah, that feel good. That's nice. That's what I like, my, my, my high school class. My class of 89. I'm not going still, you know. Um, like, just like me, God Almighty didn't can chat. Just like me. Or maybe more. But sometimes I come out of the group and I go look back and I see thousands of messages like Jesus Christ. I don't know. I catch up. So I have to look on the last few. I appreciate you too, Zlix. We do this together. I look back on some of the messages and I have to just come out and I just can't. Because enough chatting. But I really, really appreciate them. No, your sister was the one that used to teach. I know. My sister was a teacher at the school. Sometimes when she had kids who, who needed extra help with English, she asked me to take them after school. So I had a few few girls that I used to. But if you're a boy, then you definitely wasn't, weren't one of them. She was my English teacher. And you used to come there all the time with your book, writing songs and singing. I have music about my sister. Nuff, nuff. Big up our ass. Big up Rona Eugenie Spence. R.E.S. in peace. I remember when you used to rap to me. Me used to rap to you, no man, you know, remember good, me never rap yet. Auntie Carol, Cousin Carol, Queen Priceless. Me have to top call you Auntie Carol, Auntie Carol, no, you know, me too old. I, <laughs> yeah, my cousin, you know, me auntie. Why, why, are you saying, me say me a come all now, me no reach. But me been, me been in and out of the weather, and under the weather, and above the weather, and the weather include not just the we the geographic weather, but also me emotional weather. Enough sitting and me just go in out of it. These days me not fight it at all. Like there was a time when I used to struggle to stay up all the time and go out every day and get something done every day. Yeah? May I, may I come to Kingston tomorrow? But me stop do that now. Me stop. Me not fight. If my body says, hey, we don't want to interact today, I just don't. Yeah? yeah? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. You can pull the door and come up. I'm not live. You say today? Yeah, he said tomorrow. He said pull it up and he no finish. So, oh, rotted. You can call my boy. You can call my boy. I don't have his number. Oh, Jesus. I'm not live. When I come, don't When I come don't on. No, tell Keisha if you tell him. Still tell her when I come off, I go call him, but still tell her because I can't, me can't do it now. I soon come off. I forgot, I forgot in Allah, Jesus. Oh, now they're Kingston tomorrow. Well, all right, may I shout you? I not tell you when I go up on the live when I come off, I tell you. Yeah, but you know, I want to talk like a bit about. I don't know if I if I depression, because I'm not depressed. And if I'm depressed, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't hesitate for say so. But I'm not really sure what this is that I am going through. I'm not sure. Um, 
it's not something bad it doesn't feel you know feel negative you know feel but well, just a question everything about my life me just want to find the best or the most correct version of everything when me subscribe to I want to get rid of everything when I serve me and if it feel uncomfortable immediately me dash it out immediately um i mean not care what that look like to nobody else me really i don't know nobody else's business or mine so that like a that like a process they may have a go on now and it you know helps say eh, me get the bug me did have a little bug and me stay down for a while and just drink my bush and something them at after a while me have to just give in and just draw few pharmaceuticals because bush moves slower and it especially moves slower when you insist on eating a piece of chocolate here and there <laughs> and having a little cheese here and there and you know getting rid of anything mucus related is harder when you have sugar I mean, i drink no alcohol so i don't worry about that but sugar and dairy are killers and especially bad for you i try to get over things what for do with respir your respiratory system for things we do with mucus creation it's the alcohol withdrawal I'm, i don't how can i have alcohol withdrawal i've never been addicted to alcohol but me know say joke yeah, but you know for me joke about them something because people have real problems with that and i'm not one of them so i'm not going to trivialize other people's real lived experience so i'm not drink no alcohol which is just a decision and i'm also avoiding sugar as much as possible may eat fruits but when i eat no processed sugar um I'm not, I'm not 100 at that because me still I eat a chocolate half me buy my balls on my date and have no balls and me not eat no ice cream though ice cream has been very easy but occasionally me want to eat one nice little chocolate you know? just one nice little chocolate alcohol keep you sane no it does not alcohol don't keep you sane it cushion you from reality from the truth where you, where, where you feel hurt by it and you postpone the truth but then when you're sober it comes right back and if you stay drunk all the time then you never live in a, a, a reality so it doesn't and me can't me, me, me take the liberty if you say that because i drink enough alcohol and me not say it judgmentally may i say me just i say it from a perspective of observation it doesn't you know solve nothing it it serves its purpose because if at the moment you cannot deal with whatever is going on out there then maybe it works because i have done that me drink because me just no want to think me drink because me no want to face that or me drink because me think if me if me sober hey you're not gonna like where i come out of my mouth at least if me drunk it cushion it and it make you think sir because me drunk how i feel is exactly how i feel about it Except if my pass out. It's a depressant. Yeah. Yeah, but don't abuse it. I mean, first of all, you can't abuse alcohol. Alcohol, I want drink. Alcohol, I want substance. Will abuse you. When some people drink is when them chat things you may not want to hear too, yeah? I don't feel like you can abuse alcohol. I feel like you abuse yourself using alcohol. And what I go on Jerry and me, see, see me, see me co-worker there. Are we in charge of depletion of stock in a Jerry and you? Because it will abuse you. <laughs> Listen. If, if drink it, I've never, I've never been judgmental of anybody who drinks because I understand completely the the necessity sometimes for drink me never me not judge because me know how useful that vice is me know i mean i tell nobody said them to go out and go drink themselves into a stupor when i tell nobody said them to go out and go suffer from alcohol poisoning but the reality is that 
Sometimes we judge people who drink. We judge the action of drinking without ever trying to see what they're behind it. And, and, and it's not our business to see what they're behind it neither. Some, sometimes we in our haste for judge people actions, we not even stop for things say there is a lot of stimuli we inspire the action them. And this is something where we make some people and me will never ever be able to mesh. Because early out, they make them position very clear. People will judge me when they see me a drink. Men them can't be friends. Men them can never be friends. And them can't change for me. me, me, me not forgiving them really. Me not forgiving at all. Um, if when me in a, a position of vulnerability, when me in a position where me, me are hurt, I may medicate, I may treat how me know how to treat. And you judge that. You can't apologize to me neither. I don't mean, accept it. I don't mean, want it. I'm mean, not interested. Me feel like you for just fuck off permanently. Like just leave me alone. My people are my people. I'm good with that. But prefer somebody who did actually accommodate me in my drinking when me need to do it. Than somebody would judge me in my drinking and then turn up back later when me sober. If you apologize and say, oh, me ain't no say I got you that. You don't need for fucking know what people I got you for minding business. Just shut the fuck up. That's all you need for know. Your lip them can put together and you do it. Sometimes in that moment, drinking is a comfort tool and not everyone that drinks is an alcoholic. And everybody will drink alcoholic. In fact, I don't even really think mo mo most people drink alcoholic. Because most people drink and have no compulsion to lift up their hand and put the liquor to their mouth. Most people drink have something where they are push on from or run or hide from and that's why they drink because drinking numbs it that's what i feel true love is acceptance yeah me think so too Me feel like me at the point where me, well me, me think me been at the point for a while where where me can make me, me, me mind correct that red star lion <laughs> me know what you intend to say um me feel like me at the point for a while where me can look on a good person will happen for teeth and no say the one the one thing where him fall off on is the fact that in finger fearing. But for every other in a, every other aspect of life, them they actually nail it. And me feel like me have the capacity to keep them away from the valuables. Me wouldn't put them in charge of money. Won't put them in charge of anything where they can possibly steal. And me, me think them still have the, the right to live a full life. And maybe by not writing them off and not treating them as merely and only and solely a thief, um, maybe we can rehabilitate them. The only person I have no use for really and truly a rapist and pedophile, I have no use for them. They, them they can just dead a bush. I have no use for them. There's no excuse for that. I used to think that I was fine mentally until I had to stop drinking. I started feeling all the feels. Mm -hmm. So you did a hide back of them drinking. Or you can have a drink just to relax, watch a movie. Girl, let me tell you something. Me know some talk enough about joking and them something there. But me have you have a drink too, sometimes we do that because you know, you know come as you know come as easy. Sometimes I'm frigid. Can't even lie. Sometimes I'm frigid, me, me mostly poetic with me joking. And I drink because it helps me to think. I lie, you tell. <laughs> you too lie. We did not go on good until you reach us. You too damn lie. Do you drink because it helps you? Drinking help you if you think? Drinking? We actually diminish your brain capacity help you if you think? Stop moving your ass. <laughs> if you want to drink, drink, but not tell a lie. <laughs> not the happiest person I know is my grand uncle. He always said a cue a day keeps the blues away. First of all, me did have an uncle then in Caesar rule. Ah, if you don't know me uncle. Caesar Roo, big up yourself from beyond wherever you're there. That the man they'll turn up and drop asleep in a brother. And you know, realize they must sleep till you're a buff and you drop a ground. <laughs> if we say, but my sister bring my one bottle of 100% proof rum, put it on the table. You know Caesar Roo? Tighten your mother, you know Caesar You know me, Uncle Caesar Roo? Oh my God, me, me, me love him. The man, my sister put on the buckle on the table, 100% proof, junker batty rum, 
and him take it up and him look at it. When the man look at it, me say, first of all, ultimately, I want to be in a relationship with somebody who look at me the way my uncle look at a bottle of rum. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He money man, my name money man and him say they call him that cause him cause rum broke him. <laughs> Caesar who used to be a police back in the day, yeah. We back in the day, 13 years over though, so you know that. That was a long, long time ago. But Caesar who take up the rum you know, and him look on it and him say hundred percent proof in a man. And when you look on him, you see the love in her eye and he, in body language, you affect that. I want that. Like me, I want to settle down with that. The feeling. That, like somebody, I want somebody to look at me. I want somebody to look at me like how oh, my uncle used to look at me. And by when I wake up in the morning, 50% of the proof is gone. You know? 50% of the proof is gone. <laughs> Jesus of mercy. I'm surprised I'm dead because I'm thinking he preserved. I'm not know he could have dead. But, rest in soul. That was a nice man. He don't cause no trouble. He nice. If he come to your yard, if he come to your yard and he see one fan put on out this one, he say, oh, I'm to it. Oh, he not work. And just take it up on the inside and pull it down and fix it. He never going to go train for do that thing. He used to be a police and a mechanic. He did work. With the JCF as both. Um, until he fuck up himself. Rum involved. And then him drive. For him drive for him drive commercially for a while. He do enough things. He do enough things, including 1980. 19, not 1980. 1989. Or 88. Election when my mother labor right, labor right, labor right, and Alvarez lose the election. And for my uncle, I want to drive the Jeep with Barry Alvarez. <laughs> that was heartbreaking, man. <laughs> my uncle was happy and be. <laughs> my uncle drive the Jeep that buried. That had the coffin on it that buried Alvarez. I mean, I said, Jaja. For me, I'm glad, you know. I so fuck up. <laughs> but him was sovereign being and was entitled to do whatever the fuck he wanted to. Uncle Money was known to drive truck up Richmond Hill, stark man naked when the room dance in the Jesus Christ. Lara! Oi! Miss Bows! And Carol, tell us, may I come on? Town tomorrow. May I come at town tomorrow, you know. I find out what time I can go and see you. I say, but big up my uncle Caesar Rudo. Big him up anyway, they big up in Ross. Today I know me had been a talk about me, me no drink no more. One time I done joke and thief sugar, my friend sugar joke, I say, me no drink no more, you know. But me no drink no less neither, but I like me drink a lot less. I don't drink alcohol. So, if I own a friend, this is my cousin, right? This is my baby cousin. If I own a friend, and I say, you hear me say, I don't drink. When you come near me, nobody try to offer me no drinks. Not that my week. And I go bow. I just know where you are, because I tell you about it. After I say, I don't drink, and you offer me a drink, and I refuse it, and you offer again, Anything will come out of my mouth, you deserve it. I'm a quite likely never talk to you again. As I feel like when people tell us they don't want to sit you have to hear. No means no. I don't like when people ask me 15 times, like I don't know who I be or I'm not sure how I do. If I say I don't drink, I don't drink. I think that. Don't, hey, Lara. You know, understand, you know, this is a big deal. I come from a long line <laughs> of deep diving alcohol consumers. <laughs> oy, oy. But, me, me, I may not usually drink a lot. I have occasionally made my drink, and when I drink, then I drink a lot, but I don't drink often. 
So now if I stop drink completely, no really feel like one. You know, really feel like one big deal. You know, feel like one big But you know, Randy Savage, you don't know, need me for drink. For dip on the same page, you know, because I know drinking make me a fucker person, you know. That I'm a natural personality. <laughs> me a fucker person without alcohol. So I want no need for ply me with any kind of anything. I am worse than the worst of you, sober. The alcohol just usually get the blame. But I am quite I'm I'm I think I'm more fun when I'm sober. But my body. By the way, Lara, you get one new little cousin. Auntie Carol may I go have me, me not pregnant yet, but my plan to get pregnant. <laughs> my plan to get pregnant, right? <laughs> Every time we say it, it's sound funny, I come out down more, but I'm not joke. I really think my plan to get pregnant. And my intention is to have twins. I start talking to them already. I invite them to come and think I'm nobody not needing to have no alcohol in it. I try to get rid of sugar by the time me pregnant. And white, all of the whites of the flour, the rice, the... Yeah. <laughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> Twin in or not? Just one. <laughs> not what I feel like what information. Not one, but two. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, you're ready. <laughs> but, you know what? No. It's not something that I hinge my sanity upon. If I find a breeder, who the fuck you call a breeder? But for your hug, or cow, blood clotting in my breeder. <laughs> Don't play with my friend them. One of my friends them I got done it. I have no friend who is smart and cute and, and, and a good influence for having a in their life. So one of my friends them I got. I have good friends. Man. Yeah. I start shortlist them already, but I don't start inform them. I don't inform them, I don't inform them, I don't inform them, I don't inform them. I soon come up, I go come up for the live because I need to call my work man and tell him so you know, to come. I make me Jackama broke down. So, may have you cracking up, Joel? Why? Well, man, somebody pick me and I feel like I can't breathe. A girl, a girl, you think, say, I can't, I can't breathe, but I never have no more pick me. I didn't want none. And now I'm ready. Now I'm just ready. Now I'm smarter. I may have time. I may have help. Should have said donor, my but as me say a billionaire, I count me for count in a stula. Oh, they are tell me about breeder, bright, you're brighty. I'm mean, gonna like donor neither, cause donor sound like charity. I my kids them on a charity. Then no, no partner, no, no fraction of them on a charity. Did you read the article I sent you about sperm? Did I? Did I did not? Send it back, please. Or just send me one message. Make me go read it. Because when I come off, you know, girl brain turn to mush. I you did that talk back and forth. I don't remember reading an art article about sperm. So I must not have yet. I read it. I said, Auntie Carol, what me tell her say? Shoe boat. <laughs> 50. Yo, out, outside, you know? Outside, unruly. <laughs> With 50. And... You know, I feel like we've been misinformed about everything to do with fertility. We've been misinformed. And we've, it's, it's not an accident. We're misinformed because there are those who, for purely commercial purposes, um, wish for control with movements. This... Have my vote, me ask for donation, when me wait pan, me no get it yet though. Oh really? You ask for donation? Yeah, me help you find donation, me know enough money you no. Know. Bad to bad, me know some good one. Me, me and him just now. Me and him just now take the mesh. The, the, the people I may have around me, where would I make the best um partners for one reason or another? For example, some of the best people women know, gay, so they don't have no interest in being in a partnership with me. But they would have made the best father, best gene um, contributor, best everything, best everything. 
And I'm not really interested for year one a straight man to visit about that because I know my fault make no lock it. Um, some of need to go cut on the toenail. Some of need to go get a pedicure. Some of need to go get a manicure. Some of need to go brush on her teeth. Some of need to go back on to, you know, the mother and born again. I know my fault. And I me mean, I go apologize to be turned off by one. Some of really need to brush on her teeth. You know, I want to see her something more we not talk about. You'd be surprised how much hot man talk near you, you just want to vomit on him. A simple little thing like brushing your teeth. Are the stipulations why they're hesitant? All I want is the fluid, nothing else, and that is what they have issues with. Which man have issues with that? You need to find one of them where we have breed and cut. <laughs> they, they don't usually want nothing else. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, seriously. Straight man thinks of being straight. Is it here all end all be all? Auntie Carl, you'll be able to sit see there. When you go, I'm picking the good. I'm picking this. I'm <laughs> picking them good. Woo! Listen, straight man are some of the most foul creatures them on the planet. Because majority of them feel like if they do nothing at all in the name of hygiene and proper deportment and presentation, somehow we make them gay. Like, well, all right, then that's some gay man we want. If you have to come stink, if you have to green, if your teeth have to terrible, if your breath have to funky, with George Clinton up in your throat, um, if your nails them look like if you touch me, me I go get locked jam blood poison. Um, uh, uh, me can be a good man, you know, me not look too bad, me not smoke nor drink, plus me a good healthy country man, I uh, me know how to fix everything. You know, to fix everything. When you say fix everything, like what? Well, you know, if you fix yourself, because that's the biggest problem when I have, you know, if you fix yourself. So, me tell us, when me tell us, uh, one of the worst things that you can book up is a straight Jamaican man. You have some exceptions, you know. I know people and I have friends who are nice guys and they take care of themselves. But majority of people, they're out there, brother, and they're wrong and strong. Oh, God. Hyper masculine. Hyper masculine. As they run in the first thing, they tell you to dash your ties. Dash your ties for what? You think you can't compare to my... First of all, nigga, you're not even measure up to me. You don't measure up. You don't have a dick size for tell me to dash your middle though. Them very, very fragile. Fragile. It's like they, they skin so thin and they feel so threatened by everything. Everything. Me tell you, I'm going to the phone and talk to a man one night, you know. I like him voice and tell him, say, oh, you know, me, he hear my voice change and ask me what I do and me tell him. And the man say, me feel dashy way. Dashy way. Me feel, me, I'm like, what? I think I joke him that makes me laugh. Like, like no, me feel dashy way. Dashy way? What do you mean by dashy way? Like, you mean like, pick up me, age of my grand to go on. You mean like, say, me now, if you take up for me toy, when me buy, as a big man. And carry go throw it in a garbage and dash it away. <sighs> like oh dear, you tell me said Timmy Fred and uh, Alex must go in the garbage. Me rather dash it. Of course. First of all, you can't have in one one inch and uh, uh, one inch and a half and tell me yeah, fully erect inch and a half can't tell me if you dash your metal. If you know yourself, now make them kind of talk around me. Can me me, me kind of. Insensitive, then we them. I feel like if you're not sensitive, then me not be sensitive neither. I mean, I want you, first of all, you know, if you have no dick at all, I mean, you can have a great relationship. Because I mean, always, I mean, I centered around sex. But you cannot be delusional enough for then tell me, say, you know, think me if you have no sex at all, just because you can't have none. Like, you is a madman. If your penis small, sir, I'm going to tell you this now. Female, they're going to depend on life. If your penis small, Get comfortable with toys. Buy them. You be the one for buy them. Nobody go on like you know, notice. You have to fucking notice. You must and bound and compound notice. You never did then. You're nobody in a locker room, no, no bathroom, no, no way. You have no sibling. You don't have no cousin. You don't have no friend. You never manage to see a next man dick for see and say, look. You genuinely feel so every man stay so and you hear the matter about who for dick bigger and anaconda. You think you think what you have would be representative of that. You have, you have to know say it's small. And nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong 
with it being small. You have one micro penis. Oh, that you have. And, and you make yourself. You need ask for that. 